told his story over several days. Today, the prosecution got a chance to grill Muzamil Hassan about the beheading murder of his estranged wife. News 4's Lori Schultz has followed every dramatic twist in this trial. She's live now from Erie County Court. Lori? That's right. The trial wrapped up for the day at 5.30, so yet another long day for jurors. Late this afternoon, the defendant called his daughter, Sonia, back to testify. But you're right, prior to that, prosecutors grilled him for some two and a half hours. He, said, he did state it was a blur. Murder suspect Muzamil Hassan said he blacked out when he beheaded his wife, Asya, nearly two years ago. Prosecutor Colleen Gable Curtin began her cross by asking him a series of direct questions, including, you stabbed her multiple times, correct? He replied, I blacked out. But what he states is that that instance, uh, the moments of, of the killing, he does not have a fresh, a full recollection of. Hassan had spent three and a half days calmly telling jurors about the couple's marital troubles. He tried to paint Asya as the abuser. On the night of the slaying, he claimed he feared for his life when he saw his wife enter the building, thinking she was armed with a knife. Curtin Gable asked a series of questions, including, if you were so frightened of her, you could have called police. Correct, Hassan responded. What actually triggered the attack wasn't made clear. He's testified over the last several days about how it built up, and I suspect that on summation he's going to make that clear. Curtin Gable's questions continued, this time hours after the slaying when it was noted that he showed not one sign of remorse at police headquarters. He said he felt relief. No regret, she asked. He replied, relief that I escaped a terrorist. You called your wife a terrorist? Yes, he replied. You were in there for it. He's answering the questions and has not lost his temper or anything like that. And Lori Schultz back live outside the courthouse. Hassan's daughter appeared a little bit agitated when she took the stand. She never referred to his father as father, only defendant. To the best of our knowledge, she never even looked at him. Her brother, Michael, will not be recalled back to testify as a witness. The defense plans a few more witnesses, but I'm really getting the sense that the defense will soon rest its case, possibly by tomorrow. Live outside Erie County Court, Lori Schultz, News 4.